Okay, awesome. We're at the point where we're ready to get started. We're going to take the downloaded packs, the behavior pack and the resource pack, and we're going to extract them to start the beginning of our own add-on templates, okay? So the first thing you want to figure out is where do you want to store these things? Do you want to store them in your documents folder, on your desktop, or on the cloud? I highly recommend if you use Dropbox or if you have a Google Drive account, that you get a folder on your computer, like uh, a Google Drive or a Dropbox folder, and store your data in there because it also gets copied to the cloud, which is a nice backup. Some of them even do versions, things like that. So I would recommend finding a folder in one of those cloud drives if you have one. If you don't, go ahead and, and look for a folder in the Documents folder on your computer or the My Documents folder, or you could just go ahead and put it on the desktop if you want it to be right there, plain and simple, obvious. But keep in mind, if you do create a folder somewhere else, you can do a shortcut to that folder and put it on your desktop. So that's what I'm gonna do today. So I've got a folder on Dropbox that I am going to put a shortcut on my desktop so I can get to that folder right away without having to navigate to Dropbox every time. So let me go ahead and do that real quick. So I go to the Minecraft add-on, folder and then I say create shortcut there's my shortcut right here so I'm gonna grab it from over here on put it on my desktop so now if I go to the desktop you can see my minecraft add-on shortcut is there so if I double click it I'm into this blank folder that is my minecraft add-ons folder so you're gonna wanna get to a point where you've got a folder for your minecraft add-ons created so that we can start to create our pack folders, right? So I'm in this blank folder. Now I am going to right click and say new folder. And I'm going to say my first behavior pack. And I'm going to do a new folder for my first resource pack. Okay, so now I've got a folder created for my first behavior pack and my first resource pack. Now that those folders are created, let's go back to our download and extract all the files into those folders. So now I'm going to my downloads. We'll start with the behavior pack. So I can right click on this and then I could say extract all on Windows. On Mac, you should be able to double click it and it will open up the folder it will open up all the files in a folder, which you could then copy over to the uh, new folder that you just created. In Windows, I'm going to extract all, and now it asks me to find the path. So I'm going to browse, and remember, I could use my shortcut here. So I can go to my desktop, I can go to my, my shortcut, double-click that, and then I select my first behavior pack. So you can see here I'm extracting my behavior pack into my first behavior pack folder. So I say select and then extract. It's checked to show the files once it's extracted, so that's good. I'm gonna close that. Now I'm gonna to go to my resource pack. I'm gonna right click and then say extract all. I'm going to find my folder in the Minecraft add-ons. So I'm just gonna select the folder just like that and say select. So it goes to my first resource pack. I have the resource pack that I'm extracting. And then I say extract. This is a bigger file. Look at that, 2,468 files in my current resource pack. And there's probably more by the time you're, you're looking at this. So there's lots of awesome stuff to customize here. Great, so that's finished. You can see the files are being shown there. So now we have started our own behavior pack and resource pack. This is the beginning. Now this is a template. This is the complete version of vanilla Minecraft loaded on there. So it does nothing special right now and it won't even work right now because we haven't customized it yet. So what we're going to have to do is get ready to start doing some editing. So we'll get that going in the next video.